Today we've got Casa Farelli, Italian hot sauce. Hey Spice Freaks, Graham here. Welcome to the show. I was at my local market the other day and I noticed this very, very interesting bottle of Italian hot sauce from Parma, Italy. I'd never seen this before. I've been to Italy before. I know they have hot chilies, hot condiments and stuff like that, but I, I, didn't, I didn't really know that there was an actual, uh, like, you know, red hot sauce. Looking at the bottle here, this really stood out to me. This is very Italian. It, it's like a designer bottle. You have this wonderful, like, geometric, almost like, like cut diamond top. You've got the bottle that comes down at kind of like an angle. You've got Italy here that's extruded into the glass. And then if you look at the label, it looks like a very fancy label, the design and stuff. And a lot of these shapes on here are outlined in what appears to be like a silver foil. Very deluxe, very designer, very unique. So if we look at this band underneath the, uh, the top, it says Originale, Casa Ferrelli, trademark. Italy. There's a little illustration of a man here with his hair on fire. Funny little Easter egg. Uh, it says Italian Casa Ferrelli trademark hot sauce, uh, Parma, Italy. We have the ingredients. Let's check those out. It says roasted red peppers, water balsamic vinegar, apple vinegar. Oh, Calibrian hot peppers. Okay, those are very Italian. Concentrated lemon juice, sugar, natural flavoring, salt, spice, dried porcini mushrooms. Interesting. Xanthan gum and garlic. So we've got mushrooms, we've got uh, some of those Calibrian hot peppers, which are really good. On the other side here, it says medium. There's an illustration of five flame containers and three of them are filled uh, with red. So three out of five flames made from Italy's finest ingredients, including Calibrian chili peppers and balsamic vinegar. A few drops will set your taste buds ablaze. Try with pizza, pasta, eggs, meat, and salads. Saluti. All right, let's take the top off. Ooh, interesting. Wow. I I don't even know how to, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. It smells sweet. I can smell the vinegar. I think the sweetness from the roasted red peppers kind of hits, hits you immediately. You can definitely smell that vinegar. <laughs> it smells like something that I've had before, but I can't I can't put my finger on it. Let's get it out on the teaspoon. Okay. Looking at it here, it has a really nice smooth consistency. There are no chunks of anything. <laughs> Time for the teaspoon test. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, I don't know. Kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I think I'm trying to, I'm having trouble kind of describing this. I've had trouble kind of describing the smell and I've had trouble kind of describing the flavor. I can't get over the sweet taste. There's like a citrusy kind of flavor. There's a lot of two bold and, and, and competing and rich kind of flavors going on at one time. The spice gets lost, those roast red peppers, and then that balsamic vinegar, I think just take over the whole show. I don't even say there's a tinge of spice. Kind of tastes like some kind of fancy ketchup almost. Not a, not a big fan of this one. Medium, I wouldn't say it's even, I wouldn't even say it's mild. There's no, there's no spice here. Final thoughts on the Ferrelli Italian hot sauce. Not, not great. If I'm being completely honest with you, this was not my favorite. Overall, flavor rating on this, one out of five stars. And I, I hate to do that, but really, it's just, there's nothing that really stood out to me about the sauce that was like amazing. I think the sauce was kind of just like this amalgamation of bold competing flavors. You know what I'm thinking? I'm, it may kind of taste like this balsamic ketchup that I had one time. It was like ketchup with, with balsamic vinaigrette in it. The initial taste is kind of like sweet and rich and kind of bold. Uh, and then all the nuance of all the other ingredients kind of get lost. As far as spice rating goes on this, one out of five. I didn't detect it. I did not detect the spice. Couldn't really find the, the chilies in there, the chili flavor. Overall rating on this, one out of five. Listen, we're all about serious hot sauce here. And I think that this is more of a novelty than a serious hot sauce. I was taken by the Italian style and the design of the bottle and the embellishments. I, I really, really, really love, I really love that. It was very unique and interesting, eye-catching. It caught my eye. I couldn't not buy this. But as they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. Have I had worse hot sauces? Yes. Have I had better hot sauces? Absolutely. Do I think that this could be a better hot sauce? Yeah, probably. I think if you're a beginner or somebody who doesn't really like spice, 
or if you kind of like a sweet kind of uh, like pasty sauce, go for it. You know in America how there's like the Louisiana style and everyone is kind of a little bit different? I wouldn't mind trying and seeing if I could find some more of these Italian ones to try and see. Maybe this is kind of the style. Maybe I'm missing something. Or maybe this is the style, but maybe there's somebody that executes it a little bit better. The flavor was overtaken by the red peppers and the balsamic vinegar and all the nuance of all the other flavors and the spice were completely lost. Not a great sauce. I would not buy this again. So that's all we got for you guys today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.